What's up everyone? Welcome to your ninth seat tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over a special kind of loop called a do while loop. Now, a do while loop is different from a while loop um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, because a while loop, what it does is pretty much it has a test condition and it tests that condition. And as long as it's true, it's going to execute that code. But what a do while loop does is it does a bit of code first and then it tests that condition and if the condition is true then it keeps doing the code but if it's false it doesn't do it at all so in essence it does the code at least once before doing the rest of it so let's go ahead and uh, start by declaring a vin uh, variable int counter equals one just our basic counter variable that we've come to know so well and um, the syntax for your do loop is do. That's all you need to put to begin with. And then inside your um, body, you need to execute what code do you want to execute. So we want to print. Um, the code we're going to execute first is just print the variable counter. So again, let me just type that percent %d counter. And after this, we want to increment the counter by 1 by using our handy little counter plus plus now after you write to do <coughs> sorry it's my whooping cough come back after you write to do then right after it this is when you write the while loop and in your while loop just like before you need the test condition so while counter is less than 10 so unlike before this is going to execute the code before it even tests so if this is true it's going to go to the test and then if the test is true it's going to do it again so let me show you guys how this works real quick execute compile and run and what did I do wrong um, oops I spelled counter wrong c-o-u-n-t-e-r execute compile and run come on come on and look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine and if you're saying alright this is pretty much the same thing as a while loop well um you're right and you're kinda wrong in this case it does the exact same thing but I want to show you guys the main difference between a do while loop say the counter is 12 which is um greater than 10 so if we had just a while loop with this test condition it wouldn't run at all but since we have a do while loop it's going to do this at least once and then it's going to check for the um the test right here and it says all right this test is false so i'm not doing this anymore so let's go ahead compile and run this right here and hopefully i didn't mess anything else up and as you can see all it has is the basic 12 on the screen so it said all right we have a variable of 12 we're going to run this code, print the counter on the screen, and we're, we're going to keep doing this as long as the counter is the less than 10. But hold on, 12 is greater than 10, so alright, I did it once, now I'm done. Again, with a while loop, it would, um, wouldn't do it at all, and since the test condition would be false in a while loop, it would just never do the code. So this is a syntax for a do loop, and it's how you execute a piece of code one time or at least one time before testing it at all so um, as you can see in this tutorial you can't really see how useful it is but in the things we're going to be making in my tutorials in the future it's very very useful so you need to know the syntax of this and again I'm going to copy all this code right here and put it on my website thenewboston.com so make sure to check out my website if you want to go get it don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next tutorial